I've got a great JSON sample that you'll really love. It's a neat timeline type of format that you could put on your website and show a timeline of a particular thing. In our case, we're gonna be doing it with a, for a construction update so that people know what's going on with the new east wing of our Contoso uh, construction project. This is a free sample. Anyone can add this to their website and uh, use whatever data they want. Sound like fun? Let's get into it. I'm on my intranet right now, and first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to site contents because we have a list that we built out according to how the data needs to be structured for this formatter. I'll walk you through how that looks. Uh, timeline is the list in this case. And we've just got three columns we need. There's the title column that the lists always come with, and then there's a subtitle column and a description column. Um, the subtitle is a single line of text. Description is a multi line of text. So we're including here the details of when the construction began, what the current status is, when it's estimated to be finished, things like that. It's, it's just something to quickly put up on the internet so that people see what's going on with the construction of the east wing of the building. But to verify you've got your list set up correctly, we need to jump over to the JSON sample that we're gonna be covering here. Now there's a link in the description below of where to find this. This sample comes from Catano Frank and uh, created a few years ago, but you see a picture here of what this is going to look like. It's a nice timeline format. It's a very, very unique JSON formatter. I would definitely say that much. and you'll see under the view requirements what this list structure needs to be, including the column names. So make sure you have those column names exact because the uh, JSON formatter is gonna be referencing these columns. Now, this is gonna be a view formatter. So what we're gonna do is first click on this JSON file. This is where the formatter actually is. You'll see all of this code. Um, don't worry about any of the complexities uh, because we're just going to be copying and pasting. But if you want to understand how this works so that you can customize this all on your own, then check the description for my JSON formatting course that will walk you through the entire process of how formatters work and how to create whatever it is you want to create with them. For now, we're gonna go to, to the top and you'll see a button that says copy raw file. We're gonna click this, go back to our list, and then we'll click the view drop down menu and we'll click save view as because we just need a copy of this view so that we can apply the formatter. But we don't want to change our existing, this existing all items view. We want to make a, a, a separate copy because you may have to change this data at some point and it could be a little tricky with the view formatter applied. So we'll call this timeline. That'll be fine. It need, does need to be a public view so that other users can get to this. We'll click save, and then we'll, we'll see, we'll be switched to our new timeline view. We'll click the drop down menu again for the view, and then we'll go to format current view. This is where you can apply conditional formatting, but for our custom formatters, we go down to advanced mode, and you'll see some JSON here. We're just gonna highlight this, delete it, and paste in the JSON. Uh, and all we have to do, we can click preview just to see what is it gonna look like, make sure it looks correct. And it, it definitely does, look, it looks fantastic. We're gonna click save now, and then we can close this view. And our list is done. We have the, the, the view formatted the way we want. Now we just need to add this to our intranet. So I'll go to the landing intranet, and click edit, and I'll add this in, um, let's see, I will change this section to, how about one third left, and then I'll add in a list web part, and then we have to pick our list. Now, the list obviously does need to be on this same site because we're using the list web part, but we'll pick the timeline list, and then we'll select the timeline view. We can click apply, and you'll see it in here. So we're almost done. 
we've got a few other steps to go through because we don't want the menu bar. We don't want a lot of this other stuff. We want it to look like a native web part, something that looks nice and clean. To get there, we're going to click the or toggle the option for the command bar and the see all button because we want to hide both of those. Then we click apply again. So now the, the, all the, the command bar stuff is, is gone. There's no see more link or see all link. Uh, and then we, we want to put the cursor in the title of this. Now you could delete it or you can type in something like construction update. How about east wing construction update? So if we were to, let's just uh, save and close this so we see how this looks. This is looking good. This looks really, really good. We have some space on the left to add more text. And what we could do with that is if you had a picture of the construction itself, you that would be a great place to put that right over here. Whatever your timeline is pertaining to that you're adding to your intranet, um, it does fit nicely in a two third column. In fact, if we were to do a two column, that would look good as well. Now you have a little bit of extra room on the left here to add an image in that corresponds to that timeline. I think it'll be a great addition to your intranet. You'll find a link in the description below for this particular JSON sample. Make sure you like and subscribe this video, but there's a whole lot more JSON samples that I've covered, and I think that you would like this next one just as much. So to get started with that playlist, click or tap the screen, and I'll see you over there.